Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley, and in today's video, we're going to we're going to be talking about human and social biology season. So we're going to be talking about HSB. We're going to be talking about how you can pass HSB, like the real T, like real detailed how you can pass HSB and get a grade one. Right. So before I get into this today's video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and btw i got a grade one in human and social biology and that is the reason why i'm making this video okay so first and foremost okay so i did um hsp last year in 2021 and that i think that was the last year that they did not use a lab component they didn't use an sba for hsb so last year when i did hsb there was no sba at all it was all my exam performance that got me that grade one first and foremost okay so how can you perform because really and truly i don't really know much about the sba the new sba that they have for hsb now but how you can pass the exam i'm pretty sure of that right so when I was preparing for my HSP exam, I, to be honest, I, I hardly studied like from a book. I hardly studied from a book because I am more of a visual learner. But there are two channels on YouTube that I recommend. I recommend CXC Biology Tutor and the CXC Biology TCP. Right now, CXC Biology Tutor she does it. She does um videos for both HSB and for general biology, general CSIC biology and she has a lot of past papers and she also has like some specific topics, some videos on specific topics in CSIC biology TCP I came about his channel when I was looking for past papers so, right so I already kind of give away the key right there past papers so definitely definitely check out um, CXC biology tutor and CSIC biology tcp if you haven't or if you're not already watching their videos so first and foremost in order to pass okay so you know that hsb now for this year you have a paper one a paper two and an sp in order to pass the paper one literally in order to pass the paper one all you need is past papers for the paper one that's literally all you need in order to pass hsb paper one like that's all just watch past paper videos for hsb that's all you need to do 50 to 60 out of 60 right there right 50 to 60 out of 60 right there right literally literally just watch past paper videos for paper one watch from as many years as you can find like we find from 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Like, that was literally all I did for HSP paper one. Watch past paper videos. Like I did not sit down and do any past papers. Like I did not print any past papers and sit down and do them. I did not do that. All I did was watch past paper videos. And guess what? As you what? Guess what? Each as I was watching the videos, it's like I watched 2014, then I go over to 2015, and it's the same question. Then 2016, you see like couple new questions. Then in 2017, you see some they see in 2014, and then in 2018, you see about 2016 question. Like the questions keep on repeating. And let me tell you, if you watch past paper videos for HSB paper one, you are guaranteed a pass and on that paper one for hsb just watch past paper videos for a paper one like the sit down take the half an hour and go through past paper videos like that's literally it for hsb right that's literally it just past paper videos for the paper one and tell me let me tell you it's a guarantee that you're gonna pass that paper one right here just from watching password videos you don't need to print any paper for ages we don't print nothing you don't need that go on youtube cxc biology tutor past papers for hsp or you can go see the biology tcp past papers hsp paper one and let me tell you your grade secured for the hsp paper one paper just like that okay just like that in terms of knowledge you never really have to know just memorize the answers from the past videos 
and maybe you see maybe five new questions but that's about it like you guaranteed the majority of the questions are going to repeat and guess what you're gonna watch those past four videos and you're going to be prepared for the exam so when you're going to exam you see all of the questions you're going to say okay now full she says like you're gonna mash up that exam you're going to mash up it just be paper what you now watch those past four videos CXC biology tutor and CSEC biology TCP on YouTube and of course there are other other um teachers or persons on YouTube who do past events for HSP but that's literally it I have a mash up the HSP paper one that's a guaranteed pass that's a guaranteed high score on HSP paper one just like that as for HSP paper two the paper two paper for HSP to be honest like some of it right, when I did my exam for the paper two last year some of it is common sense like some of it is literally common sense that like they may ask you um I can't, right, right, now, right now I can't think of anything but they may ask you something and to be honest just being aware of your environment like for example they may say something about, about diseases and they will say like um John John has um John has high sodium levels or something like that what disease like they'll give you a scenario what disease or what condition or what illness does John have and you have common sense and know say when people have problems with their like salt levels and stuff like that on the inside of their body their sodium levels is are if their sodium levels are high you know that it's hypertension right you just being aware of stuff you know that it's hypertension you know it's diabetes you know it's whatever like just be, or they say someone has trouble breathing you know it's asthma like hsb just being aware you can probably pass the subject right but of course there are more technical stuff to it like for example if they ask about the skeletal system like you need to know the body and all of those stuff so guess what for the hsb paper too there was a broad topic that cxc released go on and those broad topics and let me tell you something if you study those broad topics your paper two grade the secured right here just study the topics that cxc gave for the paper two I'm gonna tell you, see if you just study those broad topics and don't waste your time on anything else. If they, if, for example, in the broad topics, you never say no about skeletal system, do not waste your time on skeletal system. Remember, say every day with the past papers, with the paper one already, you know, do not waste your time on the skeletal system if you never in the broad topics. Do what CXC gives you. If they say whatever is in the broad topics, because I did not look at the broad topics for this year. But last year there was some excretion and um excretion and um what was that something about contraceptives or like birth control basically on the last year 2021 paper contraceptives birth, birth control something about skeletal system and something about diseases those are what came in the 2021 exam so i did not see the broad topics for 2022 Either way, just ensure that literally just go on CXC's website. Although by now you should have that, you should have that in the broad topics a long time. But literally go on CXC's website and you see the broad topics. Just ensure you see as long as this way. If you just study those broad, broad, if you just study those broad topics, you're literally secured your paper to grade. You just are going to mash up that paper. You're going to mash up that paper. Okay? No, guess what? The problem that some students have is with these broad topics that CXC give, they don't know what part um CXC, what part should they study. For example, if they say skeletal system, you're wondering should I just know where the things are located? Should I know that this is this, this is that, this is the skull? Should you just know that or should you study the functions as well and all of those stuff? Like, yeah, you don't wonder how that works. All I can say is just ensure that you know something under each topic. But to be honest, when I was doing my HSP exam last year, they had something about skin in the broad topics. They had something about skin. They had something about skeletal system. And out of all the broad topics, I think those were the two that I barely studied. And guess what? When we go for exam and the skin did it, because CXC, the skin was literally in the broad topics. And it's like... When we go when we go in the exam and 
you see the skin, I said to myself, you know, so I should have got studied the skin. But guess what? So guess what? I sit down at the exam and I think back to grade four. Because that was the last time I do anything for skin. Because guess what? The HSB, I did not do HSB within my school. Like I was still in high school, I was still going to school and all of that. But I chose to, I know, in fact, I was in grade 11. But I chose to do it with another, that particular subject with another institute. Right, so to be honest, I was full time high school student. I did not have time to be um, going to no HSB class when they have like who knows how many subjects at all. Yeah, so I did not have time to be going to no HSB class. And so I'm telling you in this video, this is how I passed HSB. In fact, I not only passed, but I got a grade one in human and social biology. Right. It was all past papers for the paper one like literally to be honest I hardly studied for HSB hardly and so it was mostly past papers like for the paper one from like for many years come straight up back to 20 you do up to 2021 literally past papers for the paper one and for the paper two I literally just studied the broad topics like trust the broad topics like ensure that Yo, do your past papers ensure that you look at those broad topics for this year and also when you're going to exam just read the questions slowly and try to interpret them don't overthink things like that's the worst thing do not go into the exam and I think and I say this is too simple like this is too simple like don't overthink use a common sense if them say A you think about A I uh, don't don't see a and then things say another so I mean, I said it's too simple. Just just trust the broad topics that CSC released and do your past papers to the paper one. Right? And also when you're going to the exam, please answer everything. Even if it's foolishness, answer everything. Right? And the next thing to do not like Yeah, do not do not oh well I was going to say do not write two answers for the same question. Like what I don't know what CSC worked that out. If somebody put two answers, like maybe you just lose the mark completely if you put two answers for the same question. But in order to answer everything, I guess if you buck up on a question and you can't answer it, move on and do the next one. Like move on. Like question one, one A you can't answer. Go to one B. Can't answer one B, just leave one one number one question completely. Go to question number two. Answer that. If you buck up, then move on. Buck up, move on, buck up, move on. Until you finish the exam basically. And then what you do, you just remember so you have um questions at the front, right? Just remember so you have questions that you didn't answer. That's literally what I do in every exam. Like my book up and something, just move on, do what I can, then come back to the front and then start at the front and go all through. Even if it's foolishness, right? The foolishness. Right? Just do not leave anything blank, right? Literally do not leave anything blank. Ensure that you write something on the paper. When you're going into the exam. Also, when you're going into the exam, just go in there with confidence. Go in there with confidence. Go in there with patience. Be calm. Don't be nervous. Like, calm yourself. The tell yourself it's a regular exam you have to do. You see, once you calm yourself, relax your body, you will work better. Don't have you nervous. Yeah, shake your... You're just on edge, basically. Because yeah, if you're nervous, yeah, shake your... On edge. You're going to be on edge, basically. So don't do that. Just make sure you're prepared to bring all your tools with your patience, confidence, even if you don't know nothing, going there with confidence. Like, there's the people who don't study, not going to exam, and your mother confidence to them have, if you don't study, that's different. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope that everybody get that good one in human and social biology. So guess what? After you start the HSB exam, come back and comment underneath this video if you got that grade 1 in Human and Social Biology. Comment it right down below. Because this is literally, what I'm saying in this video is literally how I got a grade 1 in HSB, Human and Social Biology. But guys, definitely study those board topics, do your past papers, and everybody good luck and everybody big up themselves.